This is the second video about the small flower pawpaws that can be found at the Georgian, Georgia Southern University Armstrong campus. I'm on the little walking path that leads from the college to the sports fields over that way. And as a reference point, the street lamps here have numbers on them. This one is number 12. It's about in the middle of the path. And the small flower pawpaw, actually there are multiple here. I'm putting lines on the sidewalk as a guide, but I will show you the biggest one because it is the easiest to see in the summer. It's right here. You can use those two trees there as a reference as well. And then there's a hickory right there and a pine tree there. So this one is back maybe five feet away from the path, and it's the biggest one I've seen here. And here it is. Here's the leaves. If you didn't see the other video, small flower pawpaw. Actually, I don't think I just described it in the first video. So anyways, small flower pawpaw, which is the scientific name, Asimina tri, no. Asimina parviflora is a member of the pawpaw family and it is a plant that is native to the U.S. that has edible fruit. It's not as big as the fruit you would get from a common pawpaw, which is Asimina triloba, but it's still cool and it's a great plant for wildlife. And especially if you want to attract zebra swallowtail butterflies, which use pawpaws as their host plant for the caterpillars, which means that the butterflies lay the eggs on the leaves, and then the caterpillars eat the leaves. There aren't any on here, unfortunately. Probably not yet. But to tell pawpaws apart from other plants, which they get mixed up for hickories a lot, Pawpaw leaves are alternating on the stem. So you see here, there's goes in a zigzag. So one on this side, then over here, over here, all the way up the branch. You can also tell pawpaws because of the little leaf here at the end. This one is, if I can find it, that's the terminal bud right there, this little one. They will usually have very distinct leaves like that and the terminal bud is actually a baby leaf that is just folded up and they will keep forming them as they go up the branch. You can see there's an even smaller one in there so that's the next leaf that's going to form. And these have smooth leaves. They will always be smooth and not serrated. That's a way you can tell them apart from hickories. And this one has flowers on it. These ones are green flowers. This one's a more mature one that's probably going to fall off. There's some more back here along the branch. And over here at the base, there's one little baby fruit forming. Little, if it'll focus. Yeah, the little thing shaped like a banana is going to form into the fruit. Let's see. So there's some more flowers and a flower bud. That one might have some fruit on it. But one way to tell small flower pawpaws apart from common pawpaws is that small flower pawpaws have very tiny flowers, like you can see with these. They're very small. And this one is only about maybe a foot tall but it is already flowering. Common pawpaws will form actual trees instead of little shrubs like this, and they will probably never flower until they are taller than you are. They also have much bigger flowers and much bigger leaves. These leaves are still new, so if you look here at this little baby one on the end, it's very shiny and very textured. I'm not sure what the scientific terms are, but the way each vein causes a little bubble in the leaf, common pawpaws leaves stay that way and they get much bigger than this. But this one you can see 
as it gets older it's smoothed out a little. These leaves are all still pretty new so it's not a very good example but if you start looking at them more you'll see what I mean. The leaves are a little thick. Apparently if you crush them you smell like a green pepper taste but I have my mask on and I don't feel like taking it off to test that. Anyways, I will show you a little baby hickory back here, which get confused for pawpaws a lot because if you're just kind of looking for the general large leaf shape, it can be easy to get them confused. But it's really easy to tell them apart once you know what to look for. Okay, I'm actually trying to take my mask off anyways. So these leaves, you can see right there, these are serrated and this is actually a leaflet rather than a branch with leaves. So this whole little section here is one leaf and then these are the leaflets. If you compare that to the pawpaw which had actual leaves attached to a stem, these are both, this has two leaves and they are attached to the stem down here. So if, like for instance if you wanted to clone this you could not do it from this because this is just a leaf and if it's not a succulent, you can't clone from just a leaf. You have to have part of the stem or branch. All right, and then there are some more small flower pawpaws back here. Um, here's another example of what not to look for. Not sure what that is, but it's not a pawpaw because as you see the leaves are serrated. Here's another one. Actually here's, there's one, two, three, for a bunch of them, right all in here. So here's this one. See the very shiny new leaves, and this one's got the little leaf at the front, and then down the stem. With some two little smaller stems there. This one has a flower on it, and then the leaves up top. Let's see. This is about as big as the flowers will get. So there's that other little one there. This one has a bunch of flowers towards the base of the plant. Let's see. There's one there. These are from the back of the plant because they're facing away from me and I don't want to bend it too much. There's another flower, that one's more mature. And then there's a little flower bud at the base there. This one's pretty tall. Here's a little short one next to it. There's another tall one over here. Here's this one too. See all the little very smooth leaves with the shiny tops? Here's another one with a little green briar, briar climbing it, so as long as you ignore that part. Okay, and this one has flowers on it, there's one there, and there's some down lower, oh, and there is another one back there, I'll zoom in on it, right there, there's another one, but it, there's a bunch of muscadines here and I don't really want to step on them, because I like them. Oh, what? as another fun example. One second while I switch the camera. Here is a little partridge berry. Let's see if I can uncover the leaves a little bit. It's another native plant here. I'm assuming it gets eaten by birds because of the name. But anyways, I mentioned the muscadine, so this is the muscadine grape. These are little babies starting to come up over the winter. You can sometimes find the grapes in really fancy stores. It's it just tastes like pure grape. If you've ever just, you gotta try it because it just tastes like the grapiest grape you've ever tried. And they're completely edible. They do have seeds because it is still wild and that's actually a good thing, but that's another video to be had. Here's another pawpaw here with a little bug on it. With little iridescent wings. What's that? Yeah, I said I wasn't going to walk back here, but I already am, so I'm just going to keep going. So, 
the path is like maybe 10 feet away there. And then that is the street lamp number 12. So if you ever come down here to look, oh, this one's got tons on it. All right, so here's the leaves on this one. This one's maybe two-ish feet tall. It's kind of going sideways, so it would be taller if it were upright. But this one's got a lot of fruit on it. So this one did very well. So here's one cluster. There's how many are on there? There's five on there. And there's another one and another. And then we got a flower down here. And then there's a flower here. And some more fruit here. If it'll focus, come on. Just kind of stuck my hand in a little spider web. I think that was trying to form a fruit, but it's going to be a leaf instead. All right. See if we can find any more. Oh, I forgot I should have the camera sideways. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Don't see. Oh, wait. Nope. Yeah, I do. All right. So there's a little oak tree here. I don't know how to tell different oak species down here apart yet. It might be like a laurel leaf oak or something like that. Here's the bark. And then there's a pawpaw growing right up next to it. And this here, I think this is a baby yapon holly, which I might be pronouncing wrong. That's native too. So here's this pawpaw. Like I said, it's April, so they've got very shiny baby leaves at the top, and then darker as it goes down. This one's got a single little flower on it. And then this is some sort of green briar here, and that's got fruit on it too. I don't know how you tell different green briars apart. But that's cool too. Okay. So you got, I think this is a holly. There's a bunch of muscadines growing back there, so survival of the fittest for real. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That might be it for the common or small flower pawpaws back here. Mm -hmm. Here's a hickory I can show you again to compare the two. Oh. And also, I don't know what this plant is, but it looks interesting. It's got a spiky stem, so I'm definitely not going to touch it. That looks interesting. Alright, so this hickory here. Superficially, most usually in the summer, later on when the leaves are bigger and greener, you can very easily mix up hickories for pawpaws but the best way to tell them apart is these leaves are serrated and they are leaflets instead of true leaves and most importantly probably the easiest to tell is that the leaves go straight across from each other on the stem instead of in a zigzag alternating formation and one more glance around to see if there are any more and all of these pawpaws will be posted to iNaturalist, which you should join because it's really fun. And you can find cool plants like this. Let's see if there's any over here. One of these days I'm going to find a snake, and I hope it holds still so I can take a picture of it. And is not close enough for me to step on it by accident because I would feel really bad and I would deserve to be bitten. <laughs> okay. Here's a different plant. I don't know what this one is, but this one has shiny leaves like a pawpaw, but the stem is a bit different down here at the base. Okay, it won't focus. This one is not a pawpaw, even though the leaves are shiny, because they don't have this shape and even further back on the stem they're still shiny instead of going pretty quickly to not shiny I just forgot the word okay let's see 
Yeah, I think that's mostly it for the pawpaws that are back here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's April 2nd, 2022 in Savannah, Georgia at the uh, Georgia Armstrong University campus, whatever you call it. And then this is the walking path. This way leads to the college and this way leads to the whatever you call them, sport fields up here. And then this is the lamppost number 12 for reference. So that's it for now. I'll make another video when I find more pawpaws.